Hello and welcome to this demo. Uh, in this demo, we would be briefly covering up um, user-defined functions that was provided by SQL uh, Server 2008 R2. Um, so, user-defined functions are, is, a, is pretty is a pretty good feature that is provided um, in uh, Microsoft SQL Server, and um, uh, it basically allows you to wrap up a couple of statements and then um, return basically a scalar value or a table value. Um, you know, something like that, depending upon your requirements. And uh, the good thing is that you can actually call it inline. So, you know, depending upon your needs, you can uh, have a um, set of statements which can pretty much calculate anything for you and then uh, return, return the result set um, to your application or your calling procedure. Um, so just to have a brief introduction or a demo on this, I have installed uh, AdventureWorks database. So um, if you want to just follow along with me, you can just go ahead to um, codeplex.com and then uh, download the AdventureWorks database for 2008 R2. Um, so um, just to give you a brief uh, intro on this one, here are a couple bunch of tables that um, is provided for you. And uh, let's just look at some table. Say for example, sales territory. So, it's a pretty good table, about 10 rows. You have um, the name, the territory ID, the group, the sales year to date, and so on and so forth. So let's just try um, creating a very simple user-defined function, which um, does nothing but just gives me a summation of this entire thing. Right? You just call the function, and it's going to give you the, um, you know, the overall sales um, year to date irrespective of group, country, or anything. It, it just summates everything and then gives you the final scalar value. Um, so let us just open up a new query window. And let me make sure that my database is adventure works. And I'm going to create a new function called same um, sales territory underscore YTD sales. Okay. And second, I'm going to, you know, I need to mention what what kind of data type it should return. So it should pretty much return money because I believe that sales territory, yep, it's money. So, and then I'm going to start writing my bunch of statements as begin. So I need to capture the results in some variable. So I'm going to just declare a variable called YTD sales and with a data type called money. And I'm going to say select um, YTD sales equal to sum of, let me just drag and drop so that I don't make any mistakes, sum of this from sales territory. And I'm just going to return this. Okay, so let me just create this function. And if you just go to programmability under scalar valued function and just refresh this, you should be able to find our function over here. Yep, this one. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to call this function. Okay, so okay, so declare say results as money, and then I'm going to say select results equal to this function. I'm just going to call this function as it is. So note here, there's no parameters passed, nothing. It's just pretty much um, you know giving you an addition of the entire year-to-date sales target. So to just display this and if I just run this query, I should be able to find this entire, it's, it's basically just the summation of uh, this thing. So, um, you know, this pretty much explains um, a, a, a very simple user-defined function which takes absolutely no parameters and then returns your scalar function. Uh, but at times, if you need to parameterize your function, um, that pretty much means to do it. Um, like for example, say, I need a year to sales target, um, year to date sales target for a particular group, say North America or for Europe or say Pacific. 
uh, you can pretty much make your user-defined functions parameterized 